Hello everyone. I am Dong Gun Sin from Sangyongan University. In this talk, I will present advanced zoned namespace interface for supporting in-storage zone compaction. We collaborated with the memory solution lab at Samsung Electronics. In the zoned namespace interface, the logical address space is divided into fixed-sized zones. Each zone must be written sequentially and reset explicitly for reuse. GNS has been included at MVMe storage standard. Recently, Samsung announced a QH-based GNS SSD product. Let me start by giving you some background on SSD architecture. In SSD, there are multiple parallel flash controllers, and each controller can access multiple flash chips in an interleaved manner. Each flash chip has multiple flash erase blocks, and each block is composed of multiple flash pages. Flash pages can be, cannot be over overwritten until the corresponding flash block is erased. Therefore, SSD adopts an out-of-place update scheme and uses a special formula called the flash translation layer to manage the logical to physical address mappings. FTL performs garbage collection to reclaim invalid flash pages, dispersed copies or valid pages in victim flash blocks to an empty block. If a page is copied within a same flash chip, the copyback operation can be utilized, which can move data quickly within a flash chip without office data transfers. Next, the addresses of the copied pages are remapped. Then the victim flash blocks can be reused after erased. The GNS SSD has several benefits of legacy SSDs. When multiple applications generate multiple data streams to the storage, at regular SSD, data blocks are placed based on their arrival order. So different data streams can be mixed within a flash block. For GNS SSD, each data stream can be sent to different zones and SSD use a zone-based placement policy. Therefore, performance isolation between different IO streams can be provided, and hot cold streams can be separated. Regular SSD uses a logical blank level address translation table because the address space can be accessed by random write. But GNS SSD can maintain a zone level L2P translation table because each zone is sequentially written. The coarse grained mapping requires a small internal DRAM of SSD. In addition, regular SSD requires garbage collection where many flash pages are invalidated randomly. The garbage collection must copy many flash pages and amplify the right operations. And there are unexpected delays by garbage collection. Because the mapped flash blocks of a zone will be fully invalidated at zone reset, the garbage collection is not required. The provisioned space for garbage collection is not necessary, and the unpredictable long delays by garbage collection can be avoided. The right amplification by garbage collection can also be eliminated. For the GNS, we need to revise two major IO stack components file system and IO scheduler. First, the in-place updating file system, such as ext4, must be replaced with append logging file systems to eliminate the random update. Because a segment of LFS is written sequentially by append logging, each segment can be mapped to one or more zones. Second, the IO scheduler must guarantee the in-order write request delivery to the zone by using an in-order queue for each job. In this study, we target F2FS as a GNS-aware file system, which is an actively maintained LFS. F2FS maintains six types of segments and uses the multi-head logging policy. Separating hard and cold data into different segments 
can reduce segment compaction cost. F2FS support both append logging and threaded logging. In the append logging, blocks are written to clean segment, yielding strictly sequential write. Therefore, the obsolete blocks of a dirty segment must be reclaimed by segment compaction. On the other hand, threaded logging write blocks to obsolete space in existing dirty segment. It requires no cleaning operations and minimizes the metadata update. However, thread logging is incompatible with the sequential write only GNS interface owing to its random update. Therefore, the current F2FS patch for the GNS is disabling thread logging. Let's consider the segment compaction overhead of logo structured file systems. The overall process of normal LFS segment compaction consists of four tasks. The victim selection finds the segment with the lowest compaction cost. The block allocation allocates contiguous free space from destination segment. The data copy task moves all valid data in the victim segment to the destination segment via first initiated uh, read and write request, which generates significant data transfer traffic between the host and the storage. The compaction invokes many copy operations, especially when the file system utilization is high. The host initiated the read and write request cannot fully utilize the flash chip internal boundaries and generate many idle intervals. Finally, the file system writes several modified metadata blocks to the storage to reflect the change in the data location and then write a checkpoint block. Let's come back to the GNS. To simplify the design of SSD, all the complicated things are passed to the host in the GNS architecture. The host side garbage collection must be performed in exchange for using g GNS SSD. The overhead of host side GC is highly higher than the dot of device side garbage collection. Because the host level block copy requires IO request handling, host to, to device data transfer, page allocation for the data, and metadata update. The current GNS focuses on the SSD side benefit without considering the increased complexity of the host. Therefore, a host device collaboration is required instead of simply moving the garbage collection overhead from the SSD to the host. <clears throat> we propose a new LFS aware GNS interface called GNS Plus, which supports internal zone compaction and sparse sequential write. To accelerate zone compaction, GNS Plus enables the host to upload the data copy task to the SSD. The device side data copy is faster than the host side copy because SSD can schedule flash operations efficiently across parallel flash chips. And the host to device traffic can be removed. To avoid the segment compaction with threaded logging, GNS Plus permit the sparse sequential write on the zone that is opened via TL open command. The only requirement of the write pattern is that the block addresses of the consecutive write must be in the increasing order. The GNS plus SSD transforms sparse write request to dense sequential request by plugging the holes between request with the untouched valid blocks in the same segment. This operation is called internal plugging. GNS plus SSD can hide the plugging latency by utilizing either plus chips. To utilize the new features of GNS plus, we also propose GNS plus aware LFS. First, it used the hybrid segment recycling to select between segment cleaning and thread logging by comparing their reclaiming efficiencies. Second, to fully utilize the copyback operations, the copyback aware block allocation is required. It attempts to allocate the destination address of data copy such that both the source address and destination address of the target data are mapped to the same flash chip. 
We implemented the GNS Plus SSD emulator with PEMU, which is a QEMU based SSD emulator. We also implemented a real GNS Plus SSD device by modifying the firmware of a Cosmos Plus Open SSD platform. F2FS version 4.10 was used. We compared the performance of three different GNS implementations, the original GNS and the IGC, the support only internal joint compaction, and the GNS plus. IGC reduced the joint compaction time by removing the host level copy overhead and utilizing copyback operations. As a result, IGC presented up to 1.9 times higher throughput than GNS. GNS Plus showed up to 2.9 times higher throughput than GNS. This is because more than 86% of the reclaimed segments were handled by threaded logging in GNS Plus. The GNS Plus also reduced the metadata write traffic by about 48% compared to the original GNS by using threaded logging. We compared the performances under the different block allocation techniques while varying the number of parallel press chips in the SSD. In this ex experiment, the zone size was configured to increase as the number of press chips increased. When there are only a few parallel press chips, the performance difference between GNS and GNS Plus was small. But as the number of press chips increased, GNS Plus significantly outperformed GNS. GNS Plus showed a faster increased rate on performance because increased compaction cost could be hidden in the background by the internal plugging. This graph shows the distribution of the two different SSD internal copy operations, copyback and read and write read and program. As the number of press chips increase, the copyback ratio decreased linearly when the copyback aware block allocation was not used. With the copyback aware scheme, more than 80% of the copy requests were processed by copyback operations. Because GNS Plus processed about 95% of the reclaimed segment with thread logging, the copyback ratio of the GNS Plus was high, even when copyback aware block allocation was not used. Recently, SSDs have evolved from the black box model to the gray box model and the white box model. The white box model SSD, such as GNS, exposes its hardware geometry to the host to simplify its internal operation. However, the current GNS imposes a high storage reclaiming overhead on the host. Our proposed GNS Plus interface places each storage management task in the most appropriate location and makes the host and the SSD cooperate to optimize the overall IO performance. Our code is available at GitHub. We welcome you to improve our work. Thank you for watching our presentation.